Mother Wangari. Those who want to comment on the women go to intervention. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, sir, and I also rise to help you in welcoming the Women's League, the East Africa Women's League, to this parliament, and also assure them that the fight that started in 1917 has not been in vain. Women here are no longer just voters. They are able to run for elective offices. We have entrenched affirmative action in the, in the Constitution. In fact, in this parliament, we can boast of 102 women who are representing their population in different areas, both in the Senate and in the National Assembly. And it could not have come, this visit could not have come at a better time, Mr. Speaker, because just today, the Kenya Women Parliament, Parliamentarians, Kewopa, which cuts across the political parties, which cuts across the houses in the bicameral house, houses, Mr. Speaker, did their elections, and now we have a Kewopa chair, Honorable uh, Lea Sankare from Kajiado, leading a naval team that will steer the agenda of women in this house and even internationally, Mr. Speaker. So we welcome them and we hope that we can have some time to also interact with them as women leaders in this house. And Mr. Speaker, also as we fight to ensure that we have uh, 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 been able to attain what is in the Constitution, we hope that this can also go a long way to ensuring that our girls from the villages, from everywhere, even in the other countries of East Africa, Africa, and in the world, can learn from Kenya to be able to be at the forefront in terms of ensuring gender parity in leadership, not just as voters, but also as leaders. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.